Hey, Dr. Ray, welcome. Thanks for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Jay. Thank you for having me on your uh, podcast. Yes, thank you for coming on. Um, as you know, I do you know, the hair consultations and I talk to people every day and I get a lot of the same repeat questions. And um, so I'd like to just you know, use this forum to kind of get some information out there. And the first question is regarding uh, the biochemical report card, that uh, blood test that you use to identify the biomarkers uh, for, you know, causing hair loss and, you know, all other kinds of things to test for. So if you could just kind of go over why that test is so important. Okay, Jay, great question. So the biomarker report card is very important because there are 4,000 biochemicals inside the blood to evaluate. And each one costs between $50 and up to $400 per biomarker. So you have to be very selective when you're looking into the blood. And we have nine uh, panels, nine biomarkers that uh, our research has identified as the best nine biomarkers to help identify both the genetic and nutritional deficiencies that can lead to and contribute to a person's hair loss. So without those nine biomarkers, it's very difficult for us to have enough evidence and enough uh, knowledge to understand the underlying molecular cause of someone's uh, personal hair loss issues to then be able to customize a supplement based on the biomarkers. So it's uh, every single patient uh, over the past uh, 10 to 15 years who started on the program has gotten customized supplements. And that's why each person has gotten great uh, effects and positive benefits while they've been on the program. But uh, I wouldn't uh, hazard to start someone on a program without identifying their genetic and nutritional biomarkers. Does that make sense to you that? Sure, uh, we should absolutely. Yeah, you, first you have to, you can't treat anything without a proper diagnosis, right? So you have to figure out what's, what's causing it. So um, yeah, that's great. That's, um, it's good information. And the second thing um, I need some clarification on as well as is um, this HMO insurance that most people have. And, and there's some confusion as to, you know, um, why it's just better to pay for these tests out of pocket if HMO insurance doesn't cover it? And what exactly is HMO insurance? And if you could just kind of break that down. Okay, uh, Chef Jay, I'm a physician, a scientist and a doctor, and uh, I'm not an insurance uh, broker and I don't work for the health insurance companies. And in fact, we don't even deal with uh, HMO, I think you mentioned. I, the way I kind of uh, approach it is uh, first hair loss is a cosmetic indication and no one covers a cosmetic indication. So let's start right there. Hair loss, can we agree, is not something that's going to, going to contribute to your, the death of you. So insurances do not cover hair loss laboratories. So right. we, uh, th those laboratories, as I mentioned, nine biomarkers, very precise to give us the enough information so we can understand someone's genetics and nutrition. It's 18 hundred dollars uh, we went to the lab company and we said uh, we have so many patients that need your help and need this service can you give us a discount and we have a fourteen hundred dollar discount so the laboratory is three hundred and ninety five dollars <laughs> if you're a stop and regrow health member uh hmo would charge you way more than 395 and most people's ppos probably charge them on their deductible and they don't see it so i would always recommend using a $1,400 discount and to be able to get those laboratories done for $395. And you'll probably yep. only have to get them done once a year. So I think uh, $395 out of pocket, which is a, dollar, drop in the bucket. a sure. dollar a day, Jay, there's 365 yep. days in a year. And uh, you're gonna, you, what you're really paying for, Jay, is not the $395 labs. It's all the research over the past uh, two decades that have gone into understanding those nine biomarkers the labs should really cost about $25,000 if we're doing things the way today's insurance companies are charging for, uh, for products and, and pharmaceutical products, I think. Great. Then and the last thing I want to touch on is I talk to a lot of people and they say, hey, well, I just had my labs done. I, I just went to my doctor and he took a blood test. So what, 
I wanted to um, clarify was that these are different labs than you're going to get when you go to your doctor. So they're not the same labs. You may have just went in for your annual physical with your doctor, but you know, you just didn't, you got your labs done, but these aren't the same labs you're looking at. So good, good question, Jay. Yeah. So you've got to be very careful, right? As I mentioned, there's 4,000 biomarkers that you can assess inside someone's bloodstream. And if you think your health insurance is going to be spending $1,800 per person to evaluate someone when they're only paying $200 a month for the insurance, Jay. Yeah. There's a little bit of logic, I would say, to the pay, to the to clients that call. And I think logic should be able to serve us that uh, those uh, annual laboratories cost about uh, 18 bucks, let's be honest. And, uh, and they probably tell them it costs a couple hundred dollars. So $1,800 worth of laboratory to get the very specific, what I mentioned, Jay, what you're really paying for is the research that goes into identifying those nine, nine biomarkers and then the sophisticated algorithm that comes out of the computer that tells us what percentage of each uh, molecule you need inside your body to rebalance to get things into the right uh, levels inside your body to create a rocket ship. So uh, patients are ecstatic once they get on the program and they get a rocket sure. ship. Most people have a, a human body down here and it's got aches and and pains and, and problems, right? And yep. you can see I've got a rocket ship, Jay, and everyone on the program gets a rocket ship. So it's a holistic approach that treats not just, you know, one thing, it treats all the elements together to, you know, to collectively um, make that rocket ship work the best it can and, and get that biochemistry back into alignment. So, um, you know, Dr. Ray, thanks very much for clearing up the, um, the information so I can get it out there. 